So in this video we're going to take a look at the search digger which is a way of getting keywords related to your main keyword that people are actually searching for. So let me show you a couple of things first of all. I'm going to put in how to lose weight. I'm going to stay with the United States and I'm going to do an advanced search. I can search on all these sources. I'm just going to deal with Google for this example but you can search for all of these and you can see what people are searching for on YouTube, Amazon and so on very powerful as you can see. If you want to get rid of certain keywords that you're not interested in I'm going to put free as an example. Uh, let's, what else? Um, you can put as many negative keywords as you like and so any of the keywords that it finds with these filters they will be skipped. I'm going to delay the filter until it's finished because that just makes it run a little bit quicker. I'm going to click suggestions it will go off and find anything that has this kind of uh, keyword or phrase with any additional text that people are actually keying in when they search. Let me show you what that means. Let's click on Get Suggestions. So we'll leave that running. It's pretty fast, but we're going to leave it running. And so after a few seconds, I've just clicked on Stop, and, and now you can see we've got 297 keywords. In fact, let me clear the results and show you just how fast that is. Let's do it again. So let's stop that now and see what we've got. So we've got a nice number of keywords found, and you can see here it's a whole batch of keywords to give us ideas and not just ideas for keywords to rank for but these could be chapter headings, they could be blog posts, could be content that you're creating could be individual topics and chapters and so on how to lose weight fast, lose weight in a week, without exercise in your thighs, I wouldn't have thought that one how to lose weight for women, fast for men uh, I don't know what PCOS is, but we could look up at that and find out more about it. How to lose weight for kids in three weeks, college. There we go. How to lose weight after 40. Now, if any of these look interesting, what we can do, let's just see that one I like the look of. Um, that one is an interesting one. That one, perhaps. In fact, better than 40 for me because I'm over 50. Oh, interesting, as a vegan. Now, I've selected a few of these. If I explore these key keywords, watch what happens. This is how easy it is to find keywords and more keywords and then get the full analysis. And of course, we can save these out and export them to CSV, so we have the same kind of export facilities as we do in the other areas. Let's just check these items by clicking on Explore Keywords. It's completed the form here for me. And if I now explore keywords, I can find related keywords from the Google Keyword Planner tool for these. So let's let that run for a few seconds. So the Keyword Digger tool found keywords that had this phrase in them that were actually being searched for. And now the Keyword Explorer tool has found additional keywords for me with slightly different wording. So what I can do now is use the features that I used before to cut these down. So let's do the filters again. Let's say we're looking for competition level. That's advertising competition, remember. Uh, let's go for 50 this time. We did 40 in a previous video, but I'll put 50 now. So I'm now down to 102 keywords. Let's say I want monthly searches more than 1500 and refresh. 45 keywords, let's just do one more and approximate cost per click, let's say we'd like it to be at least well let's go for three dollars and see what happens. So I've got 16 keywords that match those filters. So I can now analyze those, check here and it checks the entire block as you can see and now when we click on bulk analyze it will go off and find out all the data that I need and then I can analyze this even further and see which ones are worth my time and effort. So now I've got the results and again we can see that these look pretty difficult. Generally weight loss is going to be difficult. So if I take out the fierce ones and then any that are very hard, we're left with four keywords um, that are only hard to rank. So that would be difficult. But let's have a look at them anyway while we're looking at this. Weight loss injections, that's not one I've come across before but it's interesting. So not bad on cost per click, not a bad number of searches, not massive searches but not bad. and. The interest is, is pretty good. 6,000, 6,600 for the exact phrase. 
Uh, we've got a .NET available for the domain if we wanted to get that. But in looking at the page rank here for the average page rank and the number of links, it's not impossible, but there would be work to be done. And then if we look at the individual uh, sites on the page one, the top 10, trust flow, citation flow, KC rank, uh, up and down. So it, it's possible that we could link for that and rank for that, but there would be some work to be done. So uh, that's given me some ideas for, from the keyword digger and then the results from there I've put into the keyword explorer and from there we can we can go even further and do the analyze as I've just shown you let's just have a look at uh, weight loss meals just out of interest it's a higher cost per click not bad searches oh that's interesting the trend is consistently higher which is always a good sign um, not massively easy but you know it's doable we could certainly do that with some work and for this kind of cost per click if we're doing adsense it might be worth thinking about i'd have to analyze the pages a bit more but as you can see it gives us all the information we need to make an informed decision whether these particular keywords are worth our time in the next video we're going to take a look at the keyword optimizer